Good evening, Andrea Michel. Hello, Miss. How are you? Good. All right, that's nice. I'm glad to hear that. How was the weekend? Get that. Okay, that's nice. What section are you in? In que section vamos? Ya llega la cuatro. Excellent. That's very nice. Congratulations. Keep working, okay? Sí, sí. Ya estos ejercicios se tienen un poquito más sencillos. Ah, bueno, qué bien. Sí, yo estoy mejor. All right, that's nice. Good evening, midday. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi. And you? I'm doing well, thank you. Just a little tired. Mm -hmm. okay. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Good. Okay. Bien. Excellent. Okay. Did you stay home? En casita. Sí. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Did you have any time to work in the platform? Sí, bastante. Okay, that's nice. What section are you in? Uh, comenzar las cinco voy. Okay, section five already, whoa. That's very yeah. nice, congratulations. Keep working. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Lorena. Check your microphone, Lorena, please. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, fine, thank you. Okay, very good. I'm fine, too. I'm glad to see you. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Un poquito trabajado. Por... Bueno, más que todo salí. Oh, salí wow. a hacer unas diligencias. ¿sí? All right. Just running errands. Okay. And did you have any time to work in the platform? Ahorita casi no avanzado en la 5.3 voy, pero... Oh. But you're in section five already. Okay. Great. That's very nice. Okay. Enrique, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. Okay. That's nice. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de? Ooh, algo pesado. Oh, really? Did you have to study or anything? Eh, estudiando. Estudiando. Estudiando para la prueba oh. avanzo. Yeah, yeah, I remember you told me you were a, a high school student, right? Ah, okay. Perdón. ¿Cuándo le toca? El 3 me toca. El 3. Pronto. Okay. So good luck. A ver cómo. Buena suerte. Perdón. Gracias. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. And how about the platform, Enrique? ¿Qué tal vamos con la plataforma? Fíjense que me he quedado atrás. No, no, no. He avancé poco. Ok. Sí. sí. <laughs> Pero hoy sí, este, en el transcurso de la noche, voy a ver si avanzo. Ah, bueno, sí, sí hay, que, hay que ponernos a trabajar ahí un poquitín porque recordemos que ya estamos entrando a la tercera semana, ¿verdad? Así que solo nos queda uh -huh. esta y la otra semana y 
pues debemos completar al menos el 80%, así que es importante seguir avanzando. Uh -huh. Ok. All right, Enrique. ¿Y usted? ¿Qué tal? I'm a little tired, poquito cansada. Ahora me tocó un día un poco ocupado, súper lleno de cosas. Entonces tuve que, que ir a mi otro trabajo en la mañana. Luego me tocó que, que hacer un par de mandados y todo eso. Entonces he andado como de aquí para allá, de allá para acá y reuniones. Y bueno, movido, movido el día. <ríe> yeah. yeah, that's how it goes. Así toca. <laughs> That's right. So, um, do you have any questions, any doubts about any of the topics or exercises in the platform? No sé cómo vamos, si tenemos dudas, alguna consulta en cuanto a los ejercicios o temas de la plataforma. Any doubts? Por el momento, no tengo ninguna duda. Okay. And you, Lorena, mi day, en, en las, bueno, lo que estaba trabajando la vez pasada, lo de las zonas horarias. De la es zona. ya de las cinco, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, we could check it. Let me take a look at it. Lo que se van conectando los demás podemos chequear. So that is section number five. You see. This one. What time is it there? En esta sección, Lorena. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí. Okay. So it talks about the dates and I mean the times. Let's see. Okay, so let's listen. First of all, oh, the video loads. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. Okay, so it talks about the different time zones and well about the time what I could tell you um, first of all we we use the question what time is it let me get the whiteboard 
So for telling the time, we use this question. What time is it? Esa sería la pregunta de qué hora es. What time is it? And then in order to answer, you need to use it's. Para responder, utilizamos it's. And then we have, uh, well, the time, right? It's 10. And then in this case, we say o'clock. En el caso de los horarios en punto, son o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Then we get, for example, it's 7.15. It's 7.15, we say. Or another option would be it's 6.30 or six and a half. Para nombrar estas y media, tenemos dos opciones, 6.30, 6.30, o 6 and a half, 6 y media, 6 and a half. Okay, and what else could I tell you? Well, you also use AM, PM, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if uh, you're... Tell me. Una cuarenta, o cuando habla de... Oh. Si yo digo 6.45. Okay, so we got, for example, 6.45. So you could say it's 6.45 or it's 15 to 7. Faltan 15 para las 15. 7, right? 15 to 7. Uh -huh. Or even in this ones, you have like 15 past seven. Esa es otra opción de decir, por ejemplo, el 7 y 15, 15 past seven. Uh -huh. 15 pasan de las 7, right? Like this in uh -huh. too. So uh -huh. that's a little what I could tell you about the time. Do you have any questions? Tenemos alguna otra consultita? Este, es que él escribía, o sea, en el video, ¿verdad? Estaba escribiendo, por ejemplo, decía en las dos y media. Oh. Ah, sería lo que dice, it's half past two. Half past two. Uh -huh. Half past two. Sí, tenemos esas dos opciones. Puedo decir, it's two and a half or half past two. O sea, y en two and a half, 40, dos y media. Y half uh -huh, past uh -huh. two, 30 pasan de las, de las dos, right? Ah, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. And what ah, was the other question? Okay. Is that it? ¿Eso es todo? Y, y para ubicar los países, allí dice ubicarlos en la misma zona horaria, ¿verdad? En el mapa. Pero en sí, yo no sé, eh, lo quieren por hora, pero yo no... Va, por ejemplo, en el video dice, eh, son las 4 de la mañana en Los Ángeles. Uh -huh. Se no entiendo, pero en, en Australia es que estaba él, ¿verdad? No me recuerdo de dónde le llamó. Mm, no, no me recuerdo, pero era la diferente hora. Y luego aquí dice, ¿cuáles ciudades están en la misma zona horaria? Eso no sé yo cómo es que lo vamos a, a responder oh, en sí. Well, you could Google it. Lo puede buscar así como en Google o dependiendo acá, pero bueno, en realidad. Ah, eh, no sé si es por hora. Ajá, es que si es por hora para ver los que están en la misma hora, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí van... Vancouver, eh, Los, yeah. Los Ángeles. Vancouver en Los Ángeles. Uh -huh. Sí, en realidad no, no nos sabría decirle cómo lo vamos a obtener a través de esta imagen, pero creo que la mejor opción sería buscarlo en Google. Buscar lo que en nos interesa es que, ajá, que usted lo exprese, ¿verdad? It's uh -huh. 11 o'clock in Vancouver. It's 8.30 in Mexico City, for instance. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sí, busca la información y luego solo escribe las oraciones. 
Okay, do we have any other questions? No more. So let's see. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Gerardo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Bien, teacher, descansando. Okay, that's nice. Very good. And the platform, Gerardo, have you been working on it? Eh, voy por la 4.3 o 4.4. Okay, that's great. All right, so good evening, Fatima Navas. Good, good evening, teacher. How are you? Estoy bien. Great. ¿Usted cómo está? Bien, gracias. ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Bien, ya voy, voy como por la 3.6 ya. Ok. That's nice. Muy bien. Sí. Ok. So, let's see. We are going to, to start today's class with a little spelling activity. So, Okay, just give me a sec. Okay, so here I have some words. Um, I'm going to ask different people to spell them. Remember spelling, right? Like funny, F-U-N-N-Y. Then we got the second one, Mide. Can you give it a try, please? Friendly. Check your microphone, please. F R A I E I M D D, mm -hmm. L, Y. Okay, just this one. I, E, I, E, okay? Repeat it, please. I, E, okay. I, E. All right, thank you, Mide. Don't worry, it's okay. okay. Fatima, talkative. T A L K I A T A V E. Okay, again, so this one is A, this one is I, and this one is E, okay? A, E, yes, yes, yes. All right, don't worry, just keep on practicing. Gerardo, it's your turn. Q U E E E E. Okay, so it's U I E T. E E T. Perdón, así sí. All right, thank you, Gerardo. Enrique, next one is yours. Serious. Yes. E R I O U is. All right, very good. Lorena, nice. Tal vez no se me cierra esto. Oh. Que la batería la tengo ahorita agotadita. Oh, okay, don't Ay. worry. Go get your charger. No se preocupe. Si quiere, vaya por el cargador mientras no voy a picar mi uh -huh. Mi day. Let's see, Mide, can you participate again, please? N I C E E. Very good, you got it. <laughs> okay, let's see another one for Andrea Michel. B, I, no, perdón. B, E, A, 
A U D A I F U I Permítame, lo vuelvo a repetir, okay. pero All right. quiero ver. B B E I Ay, no. No sé. Don't worry. A U U T I A F U L. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Very good. Lo siento. It's okay. Don't worry. Just remember, this one is E A U I. Okay. E A U I. Okay. Next one, Gerardo. <coughs> Sería H A N D E S O M E. All right, very good, Gerardo. Thanks. And let me see. Do we have one? No. Okay. Just let me tell you about the letters. So remember, this one is A. Please, everybody, repeat A. 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 E. 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 I. 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 O. 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 U. 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 A. 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 E. E. I. I. O. O, o, U, 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 and also remember this one is S, 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 S. S. Okay, how do we say this one? J, A, J. Okay, yeah. how about this one? M, 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 M. M. This M. one is. Q. 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 And this? Q. H. 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 Exactly. And this one? R. 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 Exactly. All right. Just keep on practicing the vowels. Remember A E I O U. Okay, so now let's remember a little bit about um, what we studied last class. So we talked a bit about the adjectives, right? To describe both physical appearance and also personality. So first of all, I'd like you to watch the video in the platform so we remember about the adjectives. So please everybody pay attention to the video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example. Okay, so here we have some different descriptions. He's really tall. Okay, so we got some different descriptions, different adjectives that we can use for talking about um, people, right? For example, we get this one, he's really tall. What is the meaning of tall? ¿Cuál sería el significado de tall? Alto. Alto, right? <coughs> he's really tall. Repeat, please. He's really tall. He is really tall. Repeat. He's really tall. Okay, then we get the opposite. He's short. He's short. He's short. He's short. Okay, so 
we got tall and then short. All sure. right, the next one is she's a little heavy. Repeat, please. She is a little heavy. heavy. A little heavy. What's the meaning of heavy? ¿Cuál sería el significado de heavy? Pesado. Pesado, exactly. Then we have, um, she's really friendly. Repeat, please. She's, she's really friendly. Really friendly. Okay, what's the meaning of friendly? Amigable. Exactly. Next one says, they're good looking. Repeat, please. They're good looking. Okay, good looking. ¿Qué significa? Que son apuestos. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. No. Yep. Okay, then we have she's thin. Repeat, please. She's thin. 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 What's the meaning of thin? Delgado. Delgado. You're right. Next one says, he's handsome. Repeat, please. He's handsome. Okay, what's the meaning of handsome? Guapo. Exactly. Next one says, she's very pretty. She's very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, and pretty it's is very pretty. same as handsome, but for women, right? For girls. Mm -hmm. Then we got, he's quiet. Repeat, please. He's, he's quiet. quiet. What's the meaning of quiet? Quiet. Callado. Callado. Yes, callado, tranquilo. Next one, she's talkative. Repeat, please. He's talkative. He's Talkative. Talkative. She's talk talkative. Okay, that is a person who likes to talk a lot, right? Blah, 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 here and there. Then we got, she's serious. Repeat, please. She's, she's serious. serious. Okay, and the opposite would be, he's funny. He's funny. He's funny. Last one we have says, she's shy. She's shy. shy. Okay, and then also I want you to notice that we use really and very to emphasize, right? Esas dos palabras las utilizamos para enfatizar, para hacer énfasis en que, por ejemplo, acá, he's really tall, es muy alto, right? She's very pretty, is muy bonita, muy guapa, right? So you can use those with any of the any of the adjectives. And for example, she's so serious or she's really serious, she's very serious. Se puede combinar con cualquier adjetivo para uh, enfatizarlo o para intensificarlo, okay? Okay. All right, so here you have the list that I presented last class where we have some different adjectives. And well, we also had some words to describe skin and hair. And well, let's just practice pronunciation, please. Repeat after me, short. 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 Uh, tall. 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 Average height. Average height. Chubby. Chubby. Fat. 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 Thin. 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 Beautiful. Beauty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pretty. 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 Handsome. 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 Skin. 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 Dark. Dark. Light. 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 Tan. 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 Fair. 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 Hair. 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 Blonde. 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 Red. 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 Brown. 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 Black. 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 Long. 
long, short, short, bold, bold, bold. straight, 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 curly, curly, curly. wavy, wavy, wavy. Okay, and then um, remember that we said that we have two different verbs to use for descriptions. The first one is the verb be in the forms am, is, or are. For example, we could make sentences like, my sister is tall. My sister is tall. Or let's see, make another one um, using handsome, please. Hagamos una oración utilizando handsome. My son, my son is handsome. Is handsome. That's right. Okay. Or you could also use the pronouns, right? And for example, let's make one with with the subject they. So they are or there. What? What can we say? Short, tall, average height, chubby, pretty, handsome, beautiful. What do we say? Let's say thin. Okay. So also notice that we can never pluralize the adjectives. Los adjetivos no se utilizan en otra forma más que en las que les estoy presentando. Acá, por ejemplo, estoy hablando de ellos. Entonces digo, ellos son delgados en español. But in English, I just say they're thin. No se puede decir, por ejemplo, thins. No, no se tienen que pluralizar, ¿ok? Eso no se cambia. Igual acá hablo de my son, es solo uno, ¿verdad? My son is handsome. Pero si lo cambio a my sons, mis hijos, are handsome. Lo dejo igual, handsome. No, hay so plural. Sons are handsome. No, solo lo que cambiaría es el verbo y el sujeto, ¿verdad? Pero los adjetivos nunca cambian. Same happens okay. here. If I say my sisters are tall, that's it. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Okay. And then um, for talking about skin color and hair, we got the verb have or has. So we say, for example, um, she has, um, let's say, dark skin. She has dark skin. Ella tiene eh, piel oscura, right? Or, well, in the case of blonde, we could say she is blonde. Ella es rubia. She is blonde. And let's see, let me make another one using have. I have curly hair. I have curly hair. Tengo cabello um, colocho, right? Curly. So we got those options, have and has. Y para algunos que se utiliza el verb be en am, is, or are. Um, el have es para los sujetos I, you, we, and they. Y esta forma has es para la tercera persona, he, she, or it. Okay, so let's continue. And then um, with the adjectives to describe pers personality, we use the verb be. And please repeat after me, shy. 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 Funny. Shy. Funny. Friendly. 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 Talkative. Friendly. Quiet. 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 Serious. Serious. Nice. 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 Okay, and in this case, we use the, the verb be, right? So we have, for example, I am nice. Or my brother is a nice person, right? It's a nice person. 
Then you could also say, um, we are talkative. We are talkative. So we use the verb be, right? Okay, so now in order to practice this, we are going to describe ourselves. Then the question you use in order to ask um, about this or about the description of somebody is what are you like? What are you like? Esta pregunta um, se refiere a cómo somos. What are you like? Cómo es usted, right? Lo que le estoy pidiendo es que se describa. So, for example, I could say, I'm short. I'm yeah, a little fat. serious. I'm fat. <coughs> yes. And, well, you could also say, I have um, black hair. I have curly hair and so on. Good. So I want you to think about three things that describe you. Pensemos en tres oraciones que nos describan. Pueden ser eh, lo que usted quiera. Si quiere hablar de su altura, de su piel, de su cabello. Yes, whatever. Or your personality. So anything you want to say about yourself. Three things that describe you. Okay, you got one minute to make your sentences and then we're going to share. Okay, are you done? Do you have the sentences? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Ya tenemos las oraciones? Not yet. One moment. Okay, fine. Please. Quiet. I am. I am really quiet. Okay, so let me hear some of your descriptions. Let's see, Andrea Michel, what are you like? Andrea Michel? Okay, how about Ana Baños? Okay. What do you like? Uh, I am short. I am really quiet. Okay. I am serious. Excellent. Gerardo, what are you like? I'm tall, I have black hair, yep. I, I'm friendly. Excellent, very nice. Lorena, tell me about yourself. I am short, 
I am a little serious. I am fat. Okay. Very good, Lorena. Enrique, what are you like? I, I, I am sure. I, okay. Se va a escuchar bien, bien racista, pero la verdad, I, I have black skin. Black skin? No, sky, okay, dark no sé. skin. Ok, eh, sí se puede utilizar black <ríe> en inglés, pero hay que ser muy cuidadosos con eso, porque en ese caso, usted mismo no se ofende, vea, porque lo está diciendo usted. Y en español, pues en realidad uh -huh. nosotros no lo tomamos como ofensa. Pero en inglés hay que tener mucho cuidado porque sí, habrá mucha gente que podría tomarlo como una ofensa si los llaman black instead of dark skin or something like that, right? So be careful. Uh -huh. Solo el comentario. <laughs> Continue, Enrique. <laughs> sí, muchas gracias. Ok. Y el otro es... I am friendly. Friendly, you're no friendly. Sé, no sé, no, creo que no me conozco mucho. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, very good, Enrique. Mide, what are you like? Okay. I am sure. Uh, I am. Wow. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? Callada. Shy. Uh, shy oh, perdón. Quiet. Sería quiet. como tranquila, callada. Y shy sería tímida. Entonces, shy. Okay. Y hay un eh, talkery. Tal, talkery. Talkery. No, no es, 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 es hablantina, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Right. Entonces, no. <laughs> ok. So, very good. Thanks for sharing. So, now let's move to the next activity we are going to go to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes and we are going to make descriptions of our friend best friends our moms and our sisters and brothers so now the questions are what's your best friend like como es su mejor amigo o amiga what's your mom like como es su mamá and what's your sister or brother like como es su hermana o hermano So I want you to describe those people to your classmates. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms, a los grupos pequeños. Y vamos a describir a nuestro mejor amigo, mamá y hermana o hermano, ¿ok? So just remember to use she for girls and he for boys, right? So let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. We are just making two groups. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me explain it again. So you are going to answer the questions. You're going to describe your best friend, your mom, your sister. Ah, lo que había mandado ahorita. Ah, yo pensé que era tarea. Oh, no. Okay. Pues sí, 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 entendí. Ah, pues sí. Okay. 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 ¿Quién empieza? Voy a escribir primero. Ok, yo quiero ver. Mm, my brother is. Um, I'm tall. As handsome. I have. Your heart is brown. No sé si lo estoy haciendo bien. Quiero ver. Can you repeat that last sentence? Lo último que dijo. ¿Lo puedes repetir? Please. Your heart 
Oh, so you say he's uh, here. Exactly. You're talking about your brother. Uh, he's right? here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Tiene que ser siempre así. Is your brother? No. In that case, you say my brother is short. For instance, he has a um, blonde hair, and also his skin is dark or light. <laughs> So you use his, his skin is light or dark, um, he has long hair, short hair, he okay. is talkative, okay? Vaya, voy a intentarlo porque la verdad es que no, no logro concentrar mis pensamientos y cómo repetirlo. Okay, my brother, he's, he's half, así. My brother is half. No. Mm. O sea, para decir él tiene cabello oh. brown. My brother uh, has. My brother has. Um, hair is brown. Brown hair. Brown hair. Así. Hair. Yes. My hair. brother has brown hair. Ah, uh, here. My brother is hair, hair, brown. He is, has a tall. Okay. He is tall. He's very handsome. <laughs> All right. Very good, Andrea Michel. Ok. Continúo o sigue alguien más? Eh, ¿Voy yo? Ok. Eh, my mom. Ajá. Es funny. Es funny. Fun. Eh, gracioso, chistoso. Gracioso. Ah, vale, ese podríamos ponerlo. ¿no? Mm -hmm. My brother is funny. My sí. brother is funny. My sister is. My, my sister, sister is. Sí. Sí. Is pretty. Very pretty. Is very pretty, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. My sister. Very. My sister is thin. Thin, thin, thin. Delgada. Ajá, uh -huh, también. Angry. And long. Angry. 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 Thing. Angry. 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 Ajá. ¿Qué más? A ver. My sister is... My sister is thin. Okay. Angry. My sister. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Sí. Okay, do you have any questions? From my part, no. No, okay. All right, so we're getting back to the main room right now. Vamos a volver entonces a la clase en este momento. Okay. Let's Ok, 
Okay, so let me make an example of how to describe my best friend. For example, we got, um, well, you say my best friend is very nice. She is tall. She is fat. She has long hair. And then here you could say hair here is black. And what else can I say? Oh, hair here is straight. She is really funny. And she is, what's that, young. Data. Okay, so here we have some examples on how to make a description. For example, I start by saying, my best friend is very nice. Mi mejor amiga es muy buena, muy agradable. She is tall, she is fat. Ella es alta y es gordita. She has long hair. Tiene cabello largo. Her hair is black. Su cabello es negro. Her hair is straight. Su cabello es um, liso. And then we say she is really funny. Es muy graciosa, muy divertida. She is young. Es joven. De esa forma podemos hacer más o menos una descripción. Hay que tener cuidado acá con los possessives. Here, here, porque estoy hablando de ella, ¿verdad? Si estuviera hablando de mí misma, entonces digo my hair. Ok, my hair is black. Then if I change it and I'm talking for, and I'm talking about a boy. Si estoy hablando de un niño, entonces voy a utilizar his, ¿verdad? His hair is and then just be careful with the verb be and have and has. Y tener cuidado de utilizar el verb be cuando es ser o estar y have cuando es tener, right? Okay, do we have any questions? Tenemos alguna consultita? Yo. Uh, Entonces, eh, sería she repetitivo, no importaría si yo lo sigo repitiendo. Eh, no, no importa. En realidad, eh, acá si dijéramos el nombre también está bien. Por ejemplo, eh, here you could say my best friend is very nice. Her name is eh, Marta. And then I start by saying Marta is tall, she is fat, and so on. Puede ir quizás alternando, ¿verdad? Entre el nombre y el she. Para no utilizar ninguno de los dos eh, siempre, ¿verdad? No repetir tanto. Pero sí, podemos utilizar el she en todas, no hay problema. Y así como, digamos, en una conversación, porque ahí es como escrito, ¿verdad? Pero ya no. en una conversación, ¿cómo describo yo a un... De igual forma. Sería lo mismo, sí. Lo mismo. Oh. Normalmente en conversación lo único que cambiaría un tanto es que utilizamos más que todo la forma contractada, ¿verdad? She's tall, she's, she's fat. Ajá. Okay. Eso, pero Gracias. la descripción sería igual. Ok. okay. Alright, so let me hear some of your sentences. Let's see. Midei, what can you tell me about your best friend? What's your best friend like? Yo dije que my, my best friend is tall. Oh, okay, very good. Enrique, tell me something about your best friend. My best friend is little and funny. Okay, thank you. Andrea Michel. 
What's your best friend like? My best friend is fat, is very tall. Okay. Lorena, what's your best friend like? Take your microphone, please, Lorena. My best friend is friendly. Friendly, okay, very good. Ana Baños, what's your best friend like? <clears throat> Take your microphone, Anna, please. Excuse me. It's okay. My best friend is beautiful. All right. Gerardo, what's your best friend like? Friend is tall Karen. Okay. Nice. All right. So let me just tell you, we are going to uh, make a description of our brother or sister. Okay. As homework, please make a description, a detailed description of your brother or sister. And tomorrow we are going to share it with the class. Necesito, por favor, que como tarea hagamos una pequeña descripción de nuestra hermana o hermano. Y la vamos a, a compartir mañana en la clase, ¿ok? Un par de líneas. Nada más trate de describir tanto como pueda utilizando el verb be y también el verb have. Tener ahí el cuidado de hacer la diferencia entre ambos verbos también. Ok, so please, a couple of lines. Un par de líneas describiendo a su hermana o hermano, ¿ok? Ok. El okay. hab lo vamos a ocupar cuando hablamos de, de nosotros. O sea, que diga yo, I have, I have, y el has es she has, o exactly. he has. It goes like that. Sí, así sería. Um, digo, I have, you have, uh, I, you, we, and they. We have and they have. Y el has sería para, para she, she has, has, or it, it has. Ok, el has sí. es solamente para estos tres, she, he, it. Perfecto. Ok, so um, that's pretty much it for today's class. Solamente déjenme recordarles, por favor, de la plataforma. Es bien importante que sigamos avanzando. Recordemos que la nota del curso se asigna en base al trabajo que realizan en la plataforma. Entonces, para este momento, ya les había dicho yo, desde la semana pasada teníamos que llenar hasta la sección 3, incluyendo el midterm test como mínimo. Entonces, por favor, los que no han llegado hasta esa, hasta esa sección, los que no han llegado a la sección 3, y el midterm necesitamos que lo hagan tan pronto como puedan porque eh, nos, nos estamos quedando un poquito atrasadito, pero entonces hay que, hay que ponernos las pilas, a trabajar bastante, a seguir avanzando en la plataforma. De igual manera, si puede avanzar mucho más que eso, perfecto. Si ya para este momento usted me dice ya estoy en la sección 5, ya terminé, excelente, mejor, ¿verdad? Y siempre recordar que podemos hacer los ejercicios tantas veces como necesitemos. No es que solo una vez o dos. Si quiere volver a practicar, hágalo, que es mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Recordemos que el aprender un idioma pues lleva mucha práctica, mucha repetición. Así que hay que poner también un poquito ahí de, de esfuerzo y felicitar también a todos los que ya han completado hasta la sección 3 o más. Y animar a los demás, ¿verdad? Que hagamos así como los compañeros, que sigamos adelante, sigamos trabajando. Recordemos también el, el tiempo que tenemos, ¿verdad? Ahora estamos entrando a la tercera semana. Ya solo nos queda esta semana y la siguiente para completar todo el trabajo en plataforma. 
ya esta semana tendríamos que quedarnos eh, cuando menos en la sección número 4. Tendríamos que completar esta sección número 4. Así que por favor, les pido ahí que pongamos de nuestra parte para seguir avanzando con...